when I went, came to the, the Royal Academy of Dance for the first time, and somebody said to me, you're going to see a Silver Swans class. And I thought, oh dear, what on earth is this going to be? I thought it's <laughs> going to be a lot of, you know, very ancient people like me, sort of wobbling about on one leg. And, and, <laughs> and, that, right? and you were there. I couldn't believe how good everybody was. I mean, they were so impressive. And, Good morning, everybody. Good oh. morning, ma'am. How are you actually coping during this lockdown to, to, to fill your days? Well, it's very peculiar. Um, it's suddenly, you look at the diary, and everything was scratched out. Eh? I mean, my husband's a workaholic, so he'll work wherever he is. So he's sitting at his desk now, working away. You know, we try and do something for all our charities um, most days, you know, to try and give them a bit of encouragement. and just try and lend our support. Yes, and how about you, Darcy? Being president of the Royal Academy of Dance, we're just gonna keep enforcing that we don't lose that industry at this time. You, your life has been devoted to dance, and that means that keeping fit has been something you've had to do every day of your working life. It's wonderful, because the RAD, obviously, we know uh, are doing online classes. Um, I mean, they have 9,000 teachers across the world and most of them are delivering online classes. I think we've all got to keep active. I mean, if we don't, we'll just seize up and, you know, we won't be able to get out of bed in the morning. It doesn't matter whether it's 10 minutes or 20 minutes. It just, it's just starts off the day. And I do a sort mm. of combination of, a bit of silver swans and a bit of Pilates and, and a lot of walking, which I love. Being um, uh, president of the Royal Austin Process Society, it's what we try and tell people to do to keep their bones strong. And of course, and that really is what silver swans is aimed at. And uh, for those who aren't aware, we should explain that it's a, it's a programme of dance, which is really based on the, if you like, I suppose Darcy would call them, the building blocks. Um, for, for ballet dancers, the work that they do at the bar, which gives them strength, which gives them core strength, which gives them balance and flexibility and all of those things, basically for people over 55, but actually for anybody and for men as well, which is important. I think we Yeah, should. it's built perfectly to give you that confidence and that strength to feel that you can move forward. It's a brilliant tool to have a discipline like that that you can then use in every part of your life. Sarah, the wonderful teacher, and she said to me, would you ever consider having a lesson? So I, I got a group of um, sort of ancient friends together and the four of us sort of clatter around and um, when we're in London, we do it once a week and it makes all the difference. Well, I mean, the posture and everything, for your stability, your centre, your core, understanding that, it is, classical ballet is the best yes. tool for that. I, I've always loved dancing, but I'd, I'd never, never done ballet. And what, what were the things you found difficult about the classes? And, and what were the things that you find most enjoyable about them? I think it was the sort of feeling that we were all in it together. And, you know, we thought at first, I thought it was going to be very funny and I was going to laugh at everybody toppling over next door to me. But I think we concentrate so hard, we don't even know what our friend next door is doing. When I stand now, I think to myself, drop your shoulders, breathe deeply, you know, don't hunch, you know, it's those sort of things that you have sort of ingrained in your memory. It's something you can do in your own space. You don't need a lot of room to do it. You, I know you don't have a ballet bar, do you? So what, no. you use the back of a chair no. or something? She threw us in at the deep end. We weren't even allowed to have a chair, so. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> got nothing to do with Vimis, the silver swans. It's all just about how you feel when you dance. And you don't even have to have the, the special ballet shoes. You can do this in bare feet, can't you? Yes, exactly. I, I certainly, I have never done any ballet before and it doesn't matter whether you've done ballet or not. It's something that will make you feel better. It gives you a certain amount of confidence in yourself. It's just a bit of discipline there, which mm -hmm. I think we all need in our lives. And you might groan a bit afterwards and puff. <laughs> Brought and everything else, but you do feel so much better. And it is fun, isn't it? It's fun. It's really good fun. We are utterly delighted that uh, the Duchess is going to be vice patron of the Royal Academy of Dance. Well, it's, it's no hardship for me because I love dance. I love 
dance in any form. So it's, it's a real honour for me to be asked. My visit there was so memorable, first of all, because of the silver swans, but actually meeting everybody. And it, it had a wonderful feeling of, of sort of comradeship. And also such a happy place. I think dancing makes you happy. It yeah. does. Yep. I'm very, very much a beginner and probably will always remain a beginner. But I do feel after a year or 80 months of doing it that maybe I've improved a tiny bit. But oh. I'm certainly not going to be um, taking to the stage, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> I shall keep it in my own home, very <laughs> privately. Keep safe and hope we'll see you again in better times. Doing silver swans. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Doing silver swans, exactly. Bye. 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 Bye.